I invite you to just take some big deep breaths right now to breathe in deeply and breathe out completely. Breathe in deeply and breathe out completely. During this time, we hold so much of our stress and our worries and our anxieties in our bodies, in our minds, in our hearts. But take this time now to center yourself, to prepare yourself for a time of prayer, of peace, of connection with God and with each other. Breathe in deeply. Breathe out completely. During our prayer service this afternoon, you might hear some little footsteps and noises as Hadley and Greg get their lunch together. Think about the little footsteps that you might be taking in your life. And maybe those are just steps around your house. What are ways that you're finding little moments of joy today? What are ways that you are experiencing God today? Breathe in deeply. Breathe out completely. Breathe in deeply. And breathe out completely. Let's just take a moment as we quiet ourselves. Whatever noises that you hear, whether from my home or yours, maybe some dogs pitter pattering, maybe the birds outside, maybe just your own breath. Just take a moment to listen. We come together today with open hearts to lift our prayers to our Lord. I invite you now to think about God's presence with you, where you are, in your home, in your den, in your living room, in your kitchen, wherever you might be sitting right now. Take a moment to just experience God with you. Remembering that you are not alone, that God's love is continually reaching out to you. God is here with you, with us right now. Grace and peace to you from our Lord and Father, from the Son, Jesus Christ, and from the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our reading today comes from Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers close in against me to devour my flesh, they, my foes, and my enemies will stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war rise up against me, my trust will not be shaken. One thing I ask of the Lord, one thing I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord, and to seek God in the temple. For in the day of trouble, God will give me shelter, hide me in the hidden places of the sanctuary, and raise me high upon the rock. Even now my head is lifted up above my enemies who surround me. 
Therefore, I will offer sacrifice in the sanctuary, sacrifices of rejoicing. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice, O Lord, when I call, and have mercy on me and answer me. My heart speaks your message. Seek my face. Your face, O Lord, I will seek. Hide not your face from me. Turn not away from your servant in anger. Cast me not away. You have been my helper. Forsake me not, O God of my salvation. Though my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will take me in. Teach me your way, O Lord. Lead me on a level path because of my oppressors. Subject me not to the will of my foes, for they rise up against me. This I believe, that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord and be strong. Take heart and wait for the Lord. God, during this time, we wait for you. We listen for you. We find ourselves sitting with our anxieties, with our fears, with our worries, with our loneliness, with our boredom. And God, we wait for you, for your word, for your love, for your grace in our lives. Today, we pray for all the hospital workers that are on the front lines helping to defeat this virus. We pray, Lord, that you give them protection and healing and Lord, comfort their hearts right now as they see so much loss and grief, as they fear for their own lives and for the lives of their loved ones, for the caregivers who sit with those who are dying without family present, for the nursing assistants and medical assistants and lab techs, for those who are working in the admin offices, for those who are treating these poor patients, Lord, for the doctors and nurse practitioners and physicians assistants and all who are providing care and grace and compassion right now, Lord, we lift them all up to you. Today, Lord, we also lift up the sons and daughters and daughters-in-laws and grandchildren of our own members and family at Bethany for all of those who are serving in hospitals and in healthcare, for Eric and Angie and Denise, for Krista and Ardeth and Rick's daughter-in-law, for Norma's daughter. Lord, we lift all of these to you. We pray for Eric and Shelly as they head down to OHSU this week, for safe travels, for healing for Eric, for wisdom and guidance for the doctors, and for comfort for Shelly as she waits for him to finish his appointments. We pray for all those feeling overwhelmed with anxiety and fear right now. We pray for healing and comfort and peace. We pray for Beth Milheiser and her family as they grieve the death of her sister Donna. We pray for Wayne Spriggle's brother, Lanny, who is very sick in the hospital in Pasco. We pray for Dwayne and Carol Thompson and their grandson, Jesse, as he continues to go in and out as an essential worker at Frontier Care Facility. We pray for Marlene Ron, for the Moeller family, the Taco family, for Ruth Sealer, for Ray Davenport, for the Custer family, for Alicia Gates and Sharon Ann, for the Reese family, for Barbara Clausen, and Amy Thibodeau, for the Limpak family, and for the Yaki family. We pray for Kay's grandma and Michaela Hamilton's aunt Esther, for Pastor Pat at Bodega Bay Church, for all priests, pastors, rabbis, imams, and other religious leaders as they try to guide their people through this time, for all who are working in grocery stores, from cashiers to stocking to providing delivery and curbside grocery services, for those who are working in pharmacies, for those who are working with delivery services, driving trucks and working in warehouses, 
for all of those who are providing essential services in our community and in our world. And today we also pray, God, for the new life of spring to come, for sun and warmth and the light of your love and grace poured out through creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. At this time, I invite you, our congregation gathered virtually, the people of God, take this time, take a moment to lift up your own prayers. If you are on Facebook or YouTube, you can comment your prayer requests. You're lifting up your prayers on the video. If you are on our Zoom, I invite you to say your prayers aloud or silently in your heart. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, in the stillness of our souls, we listen for your voice to know again that you are God. Quiet our restless hearts with the knowledge that you stand with us in the shadows, keeping watch over your own. Rekindle our faith and light the lamp of hope within our hearts. Then deal with us as seems best to you, for where you lead, we can confidently go with Jesus Christ our Lord. You see and know and feel the pain of the world. Look upon us when we feel alone and enfold us with your love, that in the midst of pain we may know your presence. Lord, grant that your life and love and joy may flow through us for the healing of others. In Jesus' name. Amen. I invite you to take a big breath in as you are able and exhale completely. Breathe in the light and love and grace and joy of our Lord and Savior. Breathe out the stress, the tenseness, the struggle that you might be going through. Remember that in all of this, you are never alone. God is with you. Your church family and friends are here for you. And I invite you now to go in peace and serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for our prayer service this afternoon. I invite you to join us again on Sunday at 930 for our worship service. It is Palm Sunday and we are excited. You can check out the trailer for our Palm Sunday skit on our Facebook page. Our kiddos have been working really hard and we're really excited to all gather together and say, Hosanna, Hosanna. I invite you at home if you would like, find a uh, palm leaf printout page so you can cut out your print and cut out your own palm leaf to wave at home tomorrow. And if you are on our Zoom call, I invite you to stay on for just a couple of minutes after we close our Facebook Live, so that way you can have some fellowship time with one another. The God of all creation has mercy on you, love you, and fill you with the knowledge that no matter what, you are never alone. Amen. See you soon.